we've got ahead and generated three random starter Pokemon that we can choose from. But we won't be able to see them when we're picking. Instead, my friend Lovel Fox and I will be asking each other three questions that the other must answer. But one of those answers will be a lie. We'll do this six times each, and then... I have your starters in front of me. Go ahead and ask me your three questions. Okay. Okay, so... Okay. So my per so my qu I think my questions will be, which one would you most want to pick? Um, which Pokemon is the strongest base stat total wise? And if any, which in your opinion has the best type combination? Ooh, which one would I most want to pick? Um. I would say the one in the middle. Okay. With the strongest uh, base stat total wise, I would say is the one on yeah, the I left. Obviously for that one, like, roughly, it's like, oh, one's 444, one's 445. It, 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 they're close oh. enough to, you know. Yeah, what was the last question? You don't don't go looking this up. Okay. So something tells me that either you're lying about which one you'd most want to pick, or there's a Gardevoir on your screen. <laughs> because I know you. <laughs> uh, I'll take the one on the left. Taking the one on the left. Okay. okay. Well, let me tell you uh, what you missed out on. Uh, the one. Okay. All the way that is that, that's right a bit annoying. Arctabax. Arctabax is not. Bex Calibre, right, I should say, he's a great mon. Yeah. Ar Ar uh, yeah, yeah, this it's is true. Arctabax the middle, good, has the a base stat kind of total of 423. <laughs> Okay, and the one in the middle, uh, but no, no, the fair, one that I said fair. I would most want to pick is a Cleavor. And it sets up. It stealth has rocks. that that move Stone Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. Where it does just, damage you know, and stealth sets rocks itself up rocks, which is really life. good. And the the one. <laughs> and the one a you. Stealer? Got. You are now the proud owner you know, of a you know, Stantler. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bash uh, Stantler because we're allowed to fully evolve that weird ear. <laughs> I, I can't complain about a normal psychic type. Yeah, see, I lied about which one has the best type combination because Stantler is pure normal and and yeah, our, boom. Yeah, and well, Stantler itself is just pure normal. Yeah. And Arctabax is already Ice Dragon, which yeah. is a really and good dragon. type combination. And, and dragon, the only Ice thing it's weak dragon. to is Fairy. <laughs> and no, maybe the only Fighting. Thing but, the only thing Ice yeah. resists is itself. It doesn't? I thought it did. Now, that's not to say that the Ice type isn't a oh, good type. It's just right. not a good defensive type. It's a good offensive type. But, but, it was but, designed yeah. to be an all-in, all-offense uh, type, but in Gen 1, um, they kind of <laughs> forgot the all- yeah. In all offense, part of the type. So all the Pokemon that were Ice type that were good were oh, weren't good there because they're Ice type. They were good in spite of the fact they were Ice, ice type. types in Gen One. Yeah, I think most of them are Water Ice also, types. Also, fun fact: in Gen One, the Ice but, type was actually a lot worse than it is today. <laughs> Not just from uh, like you know a move standpoint, but also from a type. Like a type interaction standpoint? Because nowadays, I'm pretty sure you know this, fire doesn't resist ice anymore. Because I don't think it does. It either, either uh, I, can, I can't remember what order it is, but at one point, um, 
Charizard could be hit super effectively by Ice type. I'm not sure if that's in modern or if that's how it was back in Gen 1. But long story short is the ice tape got a lot of changes in his and and those changes were for the better overall. Interesting. But you know, I, I cannot I... Yes. But yeah, overall, I, I, I cannot I, complain ice about it. It's gotten a lot better over time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, yep. Uh, okay, I've so got them. Around. Let, let's see what my Pokemon are. Yep. Okay. I've got All right. So, uh, are okay. any of the Pokemon on your screen part of a trio? Um, question number two, um, okay. do any of them have, uh, have a type and that fairy. was not yeah, in Dark Gen 1? So that would be Dark Steel or Fairy. Um, let's see, question number three. This is, I, I, I'm going to be honest, I came up with, up, I came up with mine on the spot. Um, <laughs> um, are so, any of them yes, a yes, yes. generation evolution? And remember, this is two truths, one lie, so one of those is definitely a lie. Yes, across the board, interesting. Yeah. So 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 which which one are you lying about is the question. <laughs> um, that gives me absolutely nothing to go off okay. of. Okay. So I'm just uh, gonna. You got a hat trim. You, you, you know what? I'm right-handed. Give me the one on the right. That's the middle <laughs> one. Which you know. Yeah, Hatter is really good. Okay. It's Gardevoir, but not. not bad. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, 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 it's it, Gardevoir, Gardevoir, but slow. Gardevoir <laughs> wants to be slow as molasses. <laughs> so uh, you missed out. You missed out on an Ambi Palm and an Obama Snow. Uh, all right. Okay. A Palm is a Gen Two Pokemon. You definitely did, but you see, A Palm is a Gen One is a Gen Two Pokemon. I, I would say I got the best Pokemon, of the bunch so. there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I am hitting generate on your second round. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good okay, a bad okay, or you know, I just, uh, does it like okay. yeah, it's like one of those okay then. It's like is that an okay then, or uh, like it's like uh, I feel bad for you, or oh god, please don't hit the one good thing. <laughs> No. <laughs> um, so, my first is, question is... Is that one of your questions? <laughs> is there a legendary on the screen? Um, my second question is, is... Are any of the Pokemon on the screen part of a trio? Because I haven't asked that one yet. Only you have. And my final question will be... Um... Are any of the Pokemon on the screen? Uh, no, have any of the Pokemon on the screen changed typings over the course of the years? Okay. Are they legendary? Are they part of a trio? Have any of them changed so they're... typing? Um. Okay. So something's yes, telling no and me no. that e. So, what I'm what I'm predicting here is either 
there's no legendary on the screen, or, or there is a legendary on the screen that actually is part of a trio. Uh, I gained very little information off of this, so I'm just going to use your logic. I'm right-handed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so you're taking the one on the right. <laughs> All right. So the Pokemon yeah. that you yeah, missed yeah, out yeah, on, yeah, Seal. Absolutely, everyone's favorite Seal, Pokemon, Pokemon, which is everyone's favorite Pokemon. <laughs> you know. Okay, that one is a, you know, I'm a bit <laughs> upset about missing Krabby, because Krabby, Krabby the Kingler hits like in a the middle. freight train. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Krabby. Okay. Okay. Very famous I mean, to be well fair, I'm pretty sure so does Onyx. Krabby has a higher <laughs> attack stat than Onyx. <laughs> And uh, the the Pokemon you got is <laughs> the incredible standalone legendary Pokemon Licky Licky. <laughs> Did you know in Generation One, Lickitung couldn't even use the move Lick? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, so apparently. Uh, we, I mean, it, we, we, we are going to be making history today because I don't think no, anyone don't think has so. ever used Lucky Lucky before. <laughs> oh, God. So, yeah, I kind of would rather have had the Krabby. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, ask away. <laughs> okay, ah, oh, let's see. Are okay. any of the uh, Pokemon uh, uh, on Just your to clarify, screen we're going by like I'm looking at this and I say yes, that's green. We're not color. going by like the Pokedex says that's green, right? <laughs> Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you see, because I don't feel like looking it up to Pokemon, see, is, is that turquoise yes. blue or is it green? Um, <laughs> uh, and then of course, you know, and then of course, there's the times where like the Pokemon is visibly yellow and it says it's white. <laughs> uh, I know that's it. I know that's an extreme exaggeration, but you remember the M and J T V video. Okay, um. Do any of the Pokemon? <laughs> yeah. Uh, you're about to ask your second question. Uh, what, what was I about to? Do Do any of the oh, Pokemon God. on your screen have a base stat total over five hundred? Um. Can any of the Pokemon yes, on your screen no, mega yes. evolve in the generations where that exists? Okay, so something on the screen. Or is that the lie? Because you know why I asked that question. <laughs> hmm. I hate you, you. You know what? Um, Enjoy it, your bar chomp! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like, is, is, do any oh, of the Pokemon okay. have a base of over 500? It's like, well, there's a bar chomp on my screen. I'll just lie and say, no, there's no, there's no, no. And then you ask about Mega Evolution, it's like, okay, at least there's Megas like Audino, where it's like, yeah, I can still say that, yeah, there's a there's a Pokemon that can Mega on my screen, but it's based that total doesn't hit 500. 
I think this is the first time I've said I enjoy the fact Mega Audino exists. <laughs> we really are making history. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I love Audino. Audino, like, I, I'm not even kidding. I love Audino. Um, mostly because of, um, you remember the, uh, I told you I did a Black 2 uh, Nuzlocke, right? Uh, did I tell you the story of Livet the Audino? <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so I beat the so I beat um, Sharon with I, literally I my don't think you did <laughs> with literally my snivy alive and nothing else. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So I go it, to the Furbank. He is a lot stronger. I'm going to get myself a right Magnemite. Yeah. So just way you know, Magnemite versus Roxy. I don't think I need to explain any further. Anyway, I accidentally step into some shaking grass and encounter an Audino. True. So, I named the thing Livid because I was ticked off that I couldn't get my Magnemite. <sighs> and the grass is... Yeah, and the grass is, of course, strategically placed so that this way it's impossible to enter the grass right, understandably. and be in Verbank City still. The second you walk into grass, you're in Verbank Complex. So I can't even try again in the upper grass before the loading screen? I was like, okay, fine. Whatever, I'll try it. The Audino was MVP of Roxy's gym, Berg's gym, and Elisa's gym. The Audino know saw its nickname that it was named Livid and was like, nah, fam, I'm that proving you wrong. Put in some work. <laughs> <laughs> But, but yes. Yet, but, but yet, I will live but, up to oh my, my name. No, like, I, but I, for your enemies. Thing. Once it started putting on that work, I just made it the most infuriating uh, on and uh, possible. The thing had flash and new on toxic. It just sat there and was just in a nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> and also. And also, because it was just a normal Nuzlocke, wasn't a hardcore Nuzlocke, I could use items in battle, so I could send out Livid, use a couple of flashes, get off a Toxic, heal the Pokemon in the back, heal Livid, and just the opponent is sitting there like, what the fuck? <laughs> yes. I'm not even kidding. Uh, when I do Nuzlocke, I have a thing Sit called Revival Claws. Sit there not die. Oh, God. Uh, it, you know, it literally is Gen 5 Chansey. Uh, I, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yes. I already know it truly um, is I, Gen 5 Chansey. And when I do Nuzlocke, I have a thing called Revive Claw. <laughs> Especially when you're allowed to use items. Faint, if the story gives me a revive, or if I find a revive sitting on the ground, I'm allowed to use it. When Audino finally died, because, you know, eventually... When you're using an RNG strategy like flash strats, eventually the tables are going to turn on you. And you're going to get hit by a crit and die. Um, Livid, uh, I, when Livid d died, I threw a revive at it immediately and said, No, you're not dead yet! Right. <laughs> <laughs> I will live up to my uh, name, right, but I'm for your enemies. <laughs> Uh, I would assume so. Um, I, I am looking at three uh, so <laughs> Do any so here are my questions. Do any <laughs> of them have a mega evolution? Do any of them have an exclusive Z move? For example, like um, extreme Evo, just extreme Evo Best as an example. And uh, let me think. What will be the last? Uh -huh. uh, do any of them have a base stat total of over 500? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Dude. Uh, can any of them mega evolve in generations with mega evolution? What? Wait, what? What was the first question again? Can any of them mega evolve? Do any of them have an exclusive? Yeah, exceed. Zoom? Yeah, 500 or higher. Do any of them ha exceed? You said 500 base that? 
Um, okay. So no, none of them can mega evolve. I I will say okay. one of them does. So have either one of them does exceed five hundred, and, and just like no, all your Pokemon are from like Gen eight onward, or just never gotten a, a Z move in Generation Seven, or you're looking at like an, or it could be you're looking at like an Eevee, and that would be hilarious. And you know, here's the thing: if you are looking at an Eevee. I wouldn't even be mad. Yeah. I mean, like, extreme Evo boost. Uh, no, but they, that, they probably, that is they probably uh, thought it was an, pretty they insane. It was I don't okay know who said that was okay. Could use it. They forgot they gave Eevee baton pass. Then again, it is for Eevee, <laughs> so... Um... <laughs> so... I just realized that, well, yeah, I know that one of them has to, an exclusive Z move. I don't know which one, it, like, where it is, and I don't think you're just gonna let me say, yeah, I'll take the one with the exclusive Z move. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went. Well, you know what? Let, let uh, know the right round, round. <laughs> The best option was in the middle. This time, for your last round, the one we just did, when you got a Garchomp, le the middle was the best option. So, uh, th third time's the charm. Let's go with the middle once more. <laughs> Shooting the shot. <laughs> uh, all right. So, but the one on the right um, that, that I kind of wanted you to pick just because it would be hilarious like, you know, uh, was Wobbuffet. I actually got right into my shadow tag and it's just like, you're dying with me! <laughs> Okay. Uh, the the one on the left is Tepig. Okay. And Wait, which one was the lie? Enjoy your Zangoose. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. I was like, wait. I was like, wait, wait. But none of them. Wait, have I'm an a little slow sometimes. Scene. You've established this. <laughs> I but said Zang one of them did. No. Wait, wait. You, you want to know the funny thing? <laughs> I'm literally, I, I'm, I, at this point, I'm just Norman. <laughs> I have a weird ear, a lucky what? lucky, and a Zangoose. I'm just Norman. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have this type diverse team with a Garchomp on it, and I have three normal types, two of which are kind of weenies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but, well... <laughs> I kind of hope that trend continues, because that would be a really funny battle. Okay, so, so what, 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 let, let, Let's give me my third Pokemon. <laughs> Why does the randomizer hate me? <laughs> okay, um... Oh god, you're gonna make me look this up, aren't you? Pokemon have the same name between Japanese and English? I know it does. I, so does po uh, uh, yeah, uh, Pokemon DB, uh, Boba Bean. Even if you go to Pokemon DB, it'll tell you. <laughs> um, see, any of the, the same name between Japanese and English? Um, did. Any Pokemon change typing after it was introduced? Um, you, you, you know what? I, I have any of the Pokemon on your screen been part uh -huh. of a champion's team? Okay. I know for a fact that one of my answers for this it's it's. Uh, I, I, it's one of those things where it's like, I'm not wrong, but you aren't going to like my answer. Uh, let me just double check to make sure that, um... Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to go with yes, no, yes. So, yes, so yes to one of them shares a name with its, it, between English and Japanese... No, none of them changed types. Yes, one of them has been on a champion on a on a champion's team. 
Okay. All right. So the the Pokemon that tend to keep their name between translations are either like mascots or legends. Pikachu, Pikachu is but Pikachu like no matter is, what language Japanese you're in. I think it's the only Mew. Pokemon that keeps its and Pikachu, that is Pikachu, is Pikachu regardless Pikachu. of um uh, regardless of language. So, that tells me I have a. <laughs> I mean, there is something really good on your screen. Fun fact! I Pikachu. actually. A fun fact! What, what's fun I fact! I actually did the math. It's pretty good. A light bulb Pikachu out is damages a, a choice type specs Raichu. Yeah, now granted, with Raichu, you have the extra book, <laughs> and I believe a bit of extra speed. That's funny. But if you want pure damage. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah you I, get yeah you could uh, give it an actual aim, but if you, you want to run damage, an like Bob Pikachu does more than Choice Specs Raichu. All right. Okay. Um. Okay, it, so you, you got yourself what? a Brio. I, I, I did right. I did metal. Let, let let's just get. Continue the trend. Give me left. <laughs> that's the thing that evolves. Yeah, that's the thing that evolves in a pre-marina. So okay. the Pokemon uh, on the I screen were Brione, Sceptile, and Satoddle. Uh The lie was yeah. that they uh, one of them changed. Didn't change their name. They all changed their name. And you want to know how I said you'd probably hate me, but I'm technically correct here. Uh, the, the, uh, that's not, no. Sun and Moon uh, doesn't well, have a chance. No, I wasn't counting that because his team changes depending on what sort in, in that same slot. Ash, at one point, had a Sceptile on his team and at one point became champion. It, yeah, uh, uh, okay, so. I am not wrong! <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I will I will give you <laughs> yes. technically it was on the team of somebody you can't who say at I'm one wrong. Point was a champion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to give me credit I'm, for I'm that one though. <laughs> Is there a starter Pokemon type on the screen? So grass, fire, water. Uh, technically, you can throw an electric and normal because of Eevee and Pikachu. And do any of the Pokemon on the screen surpass 600 base stat total? Because we've made it to a point where 600 isn't necessarily the highest. We can go over um, 600. I, I'm... I'm Alright, uh... Well, I, I stopped keeping up with the anime around oh God, uh, Owen. Uh, so I have warning, no uh, idea Ash doesn't exist any of anymore, so if you see only Gen 9 Pokemon, the answer is no. <laughs> oh, I see a yeah. Gen 7 and a Gen 8. And wait, a Gen wait, 9, I don't really... So there's free information uh, for you. Six hundred or higher. Um, what was the, what was the number you asked me about? Okay. And the final one was: Is there a starter type? So that'd be the grass. Okay, so that one I can confidently say is no. And. Okay, so um, it's no, no, and potentially question mark. No. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> so, 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 the, did Ash use any of these on his team? Unknown. Uh, you know, I'll uh, just continue the trend. 600 or higher? Way. No. Starter type? No. Oh, God. You know, I don't really think I can miss, because there aren't many bad Pokemon oh, in, those, in the most um, recent generations. <laughs> there are some stinkers, but not many. So The so answer in the to middle, that, to if Ash used it, in is the middle for was that one is actually Rock Midnight form. Uh, in Generation 7, he did have a Lycanroc on his team, but it was not Midnight. He had Dusk Lycanroc. He had Dusk Lycanroc. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so that, oh. that, that solves that mystery. The fish. Um, I, I would like right to have a fish. Was a chi you? But yeah, but 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 you do and still I don't have get a switch. dark type. It's uh, more peko. I mean, to be fair, all Hunger Switch really does is change his Aura Wheel's type, so <laughs> it's not a huge loss. But hey, at least it's not a normal type! <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll take more Pico. More Pico's not... It, it, more Pico's one of those Pokemon where it's like, I would have rather had the other two things on the screen, but I can't be mad about it. <laughs> okay. Oh, th th <laughs> these are indeed Pokemon of all time. Right, right. <laughs> all right. Um, I'm going to say... Were any of them introduced okay. in Gens 1 through 3? Um, I'm going to say... Okay. Where is the highest base stat total? And... Okay. Are so your answers are yes, right, line? yes. Alright, now here's the problem. Or I'm am I pretty to sure you're you lying about the location of the highest base stat total. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so it, it's... <laughs> so you know that yeah. I know... That's the thing with asking for a location but, but to, do you to know to that I could know be dead that you honest know with that you. I know. <laughs> with like a question like this. So this way you think that I'm lying, when in actuality I'm being dead ass with you. <laughs> So it, it, it's like, so I know. Yes. So like one. And on top of, of that, Butterfree is also introduced line, in the first like three that generations. That includes like <laughs> Butterfree. <laughs> you got yourself a flittle. It, you know. You know what? Got, got, just get, give me the give me the one on the right. <laughs> Yes. Little, the, the little egg thing that turns into Yeah, I did lie right? about where the highest base that total was. <laughs> okay, that, that's, that's not uh, bad. The highest base that total was in the middle with Clefable. <laughs> well, you had, you had Clefable and two babies. <laughs> Fable's the high... And technically, okay. technically, after Gen one? 2, Clefairy, the Clefairy line became a three-stage <laughs> evolution. <laughs> it, 
It Gimme Ghoul. It's Flittle and Clip Fable and what was the other one? Uh, I, I, yeah, it's still not an amazing really typing. Good, was it amazing? No, here's the thing. Anyway, here's the thing I about um, Goldango. Good as gold is not the reason it's good. <laughs> oh no, I'm not saying I'm not saying good as gold doesn't help. I'm saying it's not the re sole reason it's good. <laughs> Steel it's goes still one of the best with abilities. those base stats. That's just a good mon. <laughs> It could have Frisk, and it would still see play. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm generating your, your next round. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, all right. <laughs> okay. That, that there, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now that there okay. is one that I would really so. rather you not get. <laughs> okay. Hmm. So there's one you don't want me to get. So I need to figure out how to a ask my questions in a way to basically force you to make me... Uh, like. Okay. So... Is there a pseudo legend on the screen? No, um, which, uh, where is the Pokemon with the highest base stat total? And uh, where is the location of the one you don't want me to have? So you have to tell me the location of the highest base that total and the location of the one okay. you don't want me to have. <laughs> well, you obviously you can lie about one of them. Uh, it's... But... Okay. Okay, so is there a pseudo-legend on the screen? No, there is not. The okay. highest base stat total... Okay. Is on the left, so, and the one that I really don't want you to have is in you're the either middle. lying about. So, seeing that they're in two different spots actually like tells me a yeah yes. Well, I mean, uh, there are some or Pokemon like, that are like this is another really example. good. It's just as an example. Their base it's a stats. slacking, but you're looking at a slack off. So I am going to take my shot. Hope you that, are that, trying. That hope is also that, um, a possibility. Hope that I outthought you, and I'm going to shoot down the middle. Okay, Sasmatoad's so not terrible, All right. but not the best. So on the right was a Palpitoad. On the Left, what was the, okay? The highest yeah. base stat total yes. on the screen. I don't even have to look this up. It's a stack attacker, ultra beast. Yeah, They're, exactly. They all have really high base stats, and this thing has insane defenses and body press. And How? you could potentially if roll I don't, stamina. If I don't run stamina, thing, I can just which is why I did not want defense. you to pick it. <laughs> You got. I was about to say Whimsicott's not bad, and, <laughs> and then I remembered and, and I'm coffee. probably not rolling Prankster. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it has decent speed to begin with, Although, but it's like its fair, main thing is to just be an annoyance with Prankster anyway. So. Yeah. 60 speed. Like, oh, wait, no, that's a Wish Cash. That, that is not Wish Cash. That is Wish Cash. Tailwind. Oh, yeah, 116 speed? Uh, yeah, that is actually, like, that's actually phenomenal speed. <laughs> what, one, yeah. 116 speed 
Imagine I roll Wind Rider. Imagine I roll Wind Rider on the fucking like that is disgusting. <laughs> Imagine I roll Wind Rider on the fucking Imagine I roll Wind Rider on the fucking that is disgusting. <laughs> and then they give it prankster. <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> but I, I, I think I I think I put too much into stack attack and not enough into Connie. I mean to be fair I mean to be fair. I, fair. I, 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 if I, the Connie, I do need song. to actually roll roll the wind rider for that BS to work. But if I don't roll stamina, I could at least give it iron defense. I think this is your last I think this is your last batch of starters. Uh, all right, all right. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, because you start. Three, you started. Four, so. Uh, no, this is my fifth. Okay. Ask away. All right. Um. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any humanoid Pokemon? Um. Um. Okay. Are, are any of these Pokemon known yeah. for setting up? Okay, so uh, you know, it's like you you have like Pokemon like Arceus that are known for now, like East. Now, do you mean set up as in like set up toxic spikes? Do you mean set up as in like get off a dragon dance or kill the entire team? Set up and generally be annoying. Okay. But, okay. But, like, just in general, are they known for doing something other than attacking? Um, and for the third question... Um... I will go with... Are, are you looking at yes, any single-stage yes, Pokemon? no. Okay. So all of them are part of an evolution line, and one of them is something that just sits there and is annoying for a while. Um. You got a gulpin. I, I'm I'm gonna shoot right down the middle. Yeah, give me the middle one. Basically. Uh, yeah, basically all Swallow does is sit there and, s and just spread toxic. Okay. I I'm, a I'm okay with that. Although I think I messed up, and I think on that round I messed up and all of them were true, because it was Shiftry, Gulpin, Carablast. All right, so this... I... Depending on your definition of humanoid, Shiftry is humanoid. He's based. He's based off. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, it's it's because his face is based off like this, I think I they're called Kabuki my head masks. And squint a bit. It, he's based off that one yokai. Well, well he's. Uh, what, okay. What, what's it? He, yeah, he, he's he's based on so, the yokai. But you know, he is, you know he is bipedal, and you know. Not, it's not them. If he had actual hands, yeah. you could probably confuse uh, okay. him for, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, a chubby short guy. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, gen yeah, generate my guys. <laughs> uh, uh, Alright, I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> what? Uh, oh, you, you, but, well, I, I, I just realized something. Oh, God. What? That, that... Man, that's, this is gonna ruin the. This is gonna yeah. ruin everything. Th this is a Pokemon video. Okay. Um. <laughs> all right. All right. Go ahead and ask your question. Is there a legendary on your screen? Was it released in a DLC? So either uh, uh was one of the Pokemon on your screen released in a DLC? So Crown Tundra, Teal Mask. Uh, Isle of Armor or Indigo Disc, any of the four DLCs we've had. And is there a Pokemon that was introduced in a game that did not start the generation? Uh, 
Okay, was so introduced at the start of the generation. So just as, a, a just as an example, this is two and then something that they were introduced um, in a game after the gener after in a game after the generation started. Also, it is confirmed. Just so you know, the Let's Go games are still technically Gen Seven. Okay, um, how do I want to answer these questions? Legendary DLC, later game. Uh, okay. I will say, yes, there is a legend. Okay. No, there are no Pokemon that were introduced in DLC. Okay. And I'm going there to... is you know, a I'm just shoot down the Pesuian back. Pokemon on screen. Okay, what did I get? That, that, that's a solid okay. pick. What did I get? I mean, to, to be fair, that they're all, like, solid Pokemon. Okay. You... Well, okay. first let me tell you what you missed out on. On the left <laughs> was Reuniclus. I wouldn't say he's Which legendary, but he's definitely good. do consider to be legendary. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, on the right was Hisuian Braviary. You know and what? I'll take damage. I will take a damage. Novan Darmanitan. I hope you got. No, I hope I. I. I, I was making a YouTube reference there. <laughs> that's good because that's basically all that guy does. <laughs> um, Tyranitar Tube in his uh, Alpha Sapphire Extreme Randomizer does like uh, got a Darumak as a starter and he nicknamed it Damage. It survived a battle that the plot said he was supposed to lose. <laughs> Sheer RNG! <laughs> oh god, how did that happen? <laughs> okay, so now before we leave the call, uh, I shouldn't say leave the call, before we uh, pause our recordings right, to right. uh, start building <laughs> our team, what was the mod that made you go, this is a Pokemon video? <laughs> Have you seen, um... Uh, Ashford videos. Uh, I've seen some of them, yeah. Have you seen any of the Then We Fights with Frank? I, I don't remember his YouTube name. Yeah, that basically every video he's in with Vinny and the other guys, <laughs> at some point in the video he goes, Wait a minute, yeah, we guys, love Frank. <laughs> I just realized, this is a Pokemon video. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that part. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'll, I'll, uh, okay, you, I got you need to give me now. my six mod. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm a little... As we've established multiple times, we're a little dumb sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um... Let's see. Are there any... Okay. Are there any uh, regional forms? Okay. That that includes like regional evolutions, uh, like are we Berserker. I, we, 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 for this question, we would count like that. that as a form of Persian. Okay, that's what I thought. Um. So Berserker then, counts. No, I, we would really count that as a cross generational evolution. Right. Um. Okay. Are any of the Pokemon like like so dragon like Charizard like, counts? Like not necessarily dragon type, Charizard but when counts, you look at it, you, like, you would be like, "Oh, that looks like a dragon." <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, but look at <laughs> you look at Applin and tell me that's a dragon. <laughs> um. But 
Yeah, yes. like that, that's one of those like yeah. you have Cause to Because once you know, know that it's because once you realize that it's basically it's a visual pun, it, then it makes, makes sense. sense. <laughs> uh, I'm not wrong. Applin is like <laughs> the visual equivalent of a pun. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, before I ask my third question, I, I, while we're on the topic of puns, uh, the reason uh, Giraffery meanwhile, is a psychic in, um, type America is because is its a name in Japanese then, is a pun. When they gave it an evolution, they're like, well, everyone everyone laughs that it's a palindrome, so we have to keep it a palindrome. <laughs> um, let's see. For the third question, are, are, okay. the, are there any so, are, are there any no, paradox? There is on no screen? regional variance slash regional evolutions. Yes, there is a dragonoid Pokemon on the screen, and no, there are no paradoxes. There is literally one Pokemon I'm looking at, and I'm like, please, whatever you do, do not okay. pick this. <laughs> Um. Uh, give, give give me the. I, I I did not get as oh, much to go God. off of as I would have liked from those questions. You got yourself a uh, hip now. So, so just give give me the one on the left. You see, on the right, on the right side of the screen, there was a Scrafty. Uh, all, all right. I, I have, on my entire team, I have one answer to Scrafty. <laughs> and it's a Whimsicott! A Whimsicott! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> Nick it. Okay. It, well, I lied about there what, being a what, dragon what, what, on the screen. What was the one in the middle? <laughs> Yep. I'm going uh, I'm going okay. to end my recording now okay. so I can build the team. So Yeah, and um I like like fun Yeah, like yeah, the, the giraffe ray, it, it's named in Jap like it's still a palindrome, but it translates to giraffe telekinesis. Which is why they made it a psychic type. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna... <laughs> you know what? I, I like that place so much. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Terra Ghost is pretty good, and I didn't even think to do put that on anything until, like, you asked if I was ready. I mean, I, like, the last thing I did was, like, after you asked if I was ready to do anything. Oh, you you got toxic debris. It, yes. <laughs> okay. So that... Well, the good news is both of us are on a timer. Um, I don't bring you in yet.
Um, you know what? I'm gonna send you in. It, yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I used that. <laughs> now, who are you sending? You know what? I, I'm gonna go to Mitsuri regardless. Um. Do I burn my terror here? <laughs> This is the first time Licky Licky has ever been part of a battle. Ah, oh, you. All right. Well, I just do this again. Ah. I I'm just gonna keep clicking on it because I'm pretty sure I did over half. <laughs> okay. How fast is this thing? And actually, okay, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and click, keep clicking Sparkling Aria, because. Yeah. Well, that's, uh... Well, you got rid of the rain, so Sparkling Aria is not going to do as much. I thought I was going to click on it against this thing anyway. <laughs> All right, so now, the, so far, yeah, um, I'm going to send Moose on in. <laughs> <laughs> so, I I'm going to give you some free information about Muzan. He's holding an assault vest. Also, I'm pretty sure that boosts both defenses. Is it? I thought it was both. But, but also, I rolled Fluffy. <laughs> Wait, why do you have, you're supposed to have Fluffy. Did I screw up? Did it not, did it not save? I mean, everyone else has, like, like, Mitsuri has weak armor. Kiria has drizzle. Shinobu had water veil, which did nothing. It, it, it's just this one, for whatever reason.
I mean, it, he is not poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> yeah, that. So, so do you want to uh, do two out of three? Yeah, yeah. Let 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 me fix the idiot. <laughs> Uh, Demon Slayer. They're, they're all named after Demon Slayer characters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, well, I get one layer up at least. Okay, so you are a fire and fighting type. Oh, yeah, 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 because when he goes to Zen mode, he, he picks up the psychic typing. Yeah, I've seen Zen mode do absolutely anything. One time. <laughs> it, it, probably, yeah. But like that, like, fluffy, like, yeah, it gives you a weakness to fire, but like, dragon ground, I'm pretty sure dragon ground Dragon and ground both resist it, I'm pretty sure. So, like... Oh, okay. Like, yeah, you, you roll up on Brock. It, he's the Rock-type gym leader, but then... Like, his Pokémon... Uh, he gains quick attack. Quick attack is normal. How did I live? <laughs> like, like, yeah, I'm fluffy and holding the assault vest, but like, I, I that should have killed me. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I, I mean, there's no point in preserving this guy at this point, so... <laughs> but, yeah, like, like one, of my, one of my early videos that I did, one of my really early videos, um, I actually soloed Yellow with the starter Pikachu. Yellow. Like, I, from start to finish, I got the starter Pikachu, and oh my god, that did way too much. And, and 
including beating Brock. I, I think it was at like level 20 by the time I was able to do anything. Like, like, that's his whole thing, is he is a bulky psychic type. <laughs> I, I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh... Yeah, I, I haven't been paying attention to my Pokemon's genders. I, I just know that the only two I set were I set Muzan to be male, and Nezuko, who we haven't seen yet, was set to be female. <laughs> you, you know what? You know what? what we haven't... It, it would, j j just so she makes an appearance in the video. <laughs> yeah. That. She's like really. Like she has like base 40 speed or something like that. <laughs> it, yeah. Uh. And, and there goes the trick room. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Non-stab Giga Drain gives me back 17, and Poison takes 12. Okay. Well, I mean, there's no reason not to just keep clicking it. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. I, I, I sh if I had not gone, t if I had not used the Terra Ghost on that thing, because <laughs> you realize the knockoff did super effective because I was Terra Ghost. <laughs> uh, uh, it, I, 
I've won one, you've won one. What, what, what do you want to do here? Uh, Alright! <laughs> that, that... Rematch? All right. More Peko. More Peko? Is he normally electric dark? Okay, so then I just do this. <laughs> and, and you got rid of the rain. Not that it was doing me any good. I mean, I could have... Well, I mean, it kind of was, just not for as Pothra. Um, who do I go to here? Well, yeah, I mean, same here. <laughs> But we have a battle going now. Let's see, does Primarina at two times speed, or plus two speed rather, outspeed Whimsicott? It does not. But I do survive! <laughs> Let's see. But how much does that knockoff you went for? It, enough. It does enough. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah. I'm pretty sure that was my best answer to this thing, though. Alright, so let's see what Muzon does. Well, I mean, because I've noticed most of my atta the attacks I used against it last battle weren't doing much, but then Sparkling Arya does over half. Do I know the super funny part, though? I don't even remember what... Oh, no. But I was about to say I didn't even remember what item I put on this thing, but then I was like, no, yeah, it was the assault vest. <laughs> um... 
Find me Terra Dragon Max Attack. Attack. Yeah, it did just under half. <laughs> <laughs> that I could imagine if your earthquake had quit at a crit. 